What's going on guys, this is Mike Nord, and today we'll be talking about a game that I've been having a lot of fun with, and that game is F-Zero 99. During Nintendo's September 14th Direct of 2023, they revealed a brand new F-Zero game. Despite the leaks that have already confirmed this, I was still pretty no! excited to see Nintendo oh! releasing a brand new F-Zero game, especially on the same day it was announced. F-Zero 99 is Nintendo's fourth free-to-play, kinda, battle royale game on the Switch. I mean, soon it's gonna be one out of two battle royale games that you can actually play. F-Zero 99 is based on the original F-Zero game on the Super Famicom and Super Nintendo systems where you can race against 98 other people in classic courses such as Mute City and Big Blue. Now I've had very little experience with F-Zero. The majority of people are only familiar with Captain Falcon from the Super Smash Bros. series and don't even know what game he's from. I've at least tried out F-Zero through the Super Nintendo Switch Online app and through the Super Nintendo Classic system. And I even own a full inbox copy of F-Zero, which is pretty cool. If it's worth anything, I've also played some fast RMX on Switch, which is considered a spiritual successor to F-Zero. The point I'm trying to make is that while I'm well aware of the franchise, I wouldn't consider myself a huge fan as I barely only dabbled in the arts of futuristic high-speed racing. But after experiencing F-099, not just playing, all right? You, you don't just play F-099. It's an experience. I'm now a fan of F-0. Why? Let's talk about it. F-099 is included with the basic Switch Online membership which is why I said it's kind of free to play. So you only have to pay $20 a year to have access to F-099, as well as the other 99 games, and NES, SNES, and Game Boy Switch Online collections. So right off the bat, this is a really good deal, and since it's included with your online membership, you don't have anything to lose when you at least try out F-099. Like I said earlier, this is a racing game where you race against 98 other people in the world. Before you actually jump into all that, you need to complete the tutorial as you learn the basics. Basically, you compete in four laps without losing all of your energy to complete the race. I mean, sounds easy, right? You, you just avoid running into the barriers and, and you should be good. No, it, it's there's a little bit more to it. Not only do you have 98 other people giving you love taps, but when you use your boost, you are actually sacrificing a bit of your energy, making you vulnerable to people who want to knock you out. If you're familiar with the original game, you'll have pit stops where you can regain some of your energy, but there's really there's only one spot in, in the track that you can do that at, so don't go crazy with the boost. Also, there's a new spin move that you can do that will deflect opponents off of you to prevent damage. So you kind of need to pick your moments here. The spin move has a bit of a cooldown and boosts are pretty limited because your energy is limited, which is why you need to go on the offensive side when it matters. When you KO an opponent and crush their hopes and dreams, you will gain a bit of energy back and get a bigger power meter. This of course will allow you to hold more energy to perform more boosts and give you a better edge at winning the race. If you're really falling behind, then you can collect super sparks from all of the colliding machines and these golden ones to unlock the skyway. This puts you on a path above the track that makes it easier to pass everyone, especially on those tight corners. As of now, there's only a few modes that you can participate in online. The basic F-099 mode is racing against 98 other pilots on one track. This is essentially the quick play mode as you're pretty much instantly put into action. All you gotta do is pick your machine, choose a track, and you're set to compete. As of now, there's only four tracks that are being cycled through this mode, which I think it's fine for now since this gives time for people to get used to playing and memorizing the tracks before more are thrown into the rotation. Then on the right, you will see different modes that are special events. Team battle is where two teams go against each other to rank up the most points depending on KOs and where each member is placed. Pro track mode is essentially two harder tracks, Whiteland 1 and Port Town 2, that the 99 of you rascals can race on. Then you have Mini Prees, which are a set of three races. You need to be decently ahead at all times since each lap 
eliminates players that are behind a certain place. Basically, you're not going to make it to the third race if you're not in the top 60. And then you have the Grand Prix, which as of now, there is only the Night Cup, which consists of five races. These pop up every two hours, so better set a timer so you won't forget, all right? I better see you in those Grand Prix. You'll need to be in the top 20 to make it into the Silence Track, which is the only way you can race on this track at all. And let me tell you, it's harder than it sounds. I've only, <laughs> I've only made it all the way to the end once and i barely got 11th place the queen cup and king cup will eventually be added those tracks will be even more difficult so that should be fun if you participate in mini prix and grand prix you're going to need tickets which you can rack up from playing any of the other modes you can also gain experience to level up and rank up defeating rivals each race you'll have four rivals and if you outperform them you'll get points to go up a letter grade this gets a lot harder once you've reached the a ranks like me it will take a lot longer to rank up and if you don't manage to be at least one rival then you can actually lose points so you might want to get good thankfully just like in the original game there's practice mode this is the only single player mode of the game just trying to get the fastest time in each racetrack it's important to note that you can only practice a track once you've raced on it in any of the other modes so you guys have no idea how proud I am to be able to practice on silence. Now putting in all this time, sweat, and tears in the game, you're putting yourself on the leaderboard, which resets every week, and you can unlock some cosmetic items for your machines and pilot cards. I've only played this game using the Blue Falcon, so everything I've unlocked is for that machine. I, I know it's not much, but I've only really only put four hours into the game. Now that I explained pretty much the entire game, what are my overall thoughts on F099? If you couldn't tell already, I'm absolutely enjoying this game a lot. This is by far my favorite battle royale game on the Switch and probably my favorite battle royale game in general. Personally, I'm not even that good at the game, all right? I've yet to acquire that first place victory. I think the highest place I've gotten is like seventh place. Usually when I'm not that good at a game, I usually just put it down and move on to something else but i'm i'm just that addicted to f099 i like how it's quick and snappy to get into a game and for the most part smooth and stable there were like two times where i noticed a little bit of lag but i'm playing on a wireless internet connection so it should be even better on an ethernet connection and this game looks really good all right it, it still keeps the 16-bit look but includes modern touch-ups in the menus and the power meter this game looks fantastic whether you're playing on a tv or in handheld mode, especially with an OLED switch. I mean, the colors are just immaculate. I've used both a Pro Controller and the wireless SNES controller, and I think both are good to use, honestly. I like the SNES controller since it has that old school feel, but when you need to use the spin move, you'll need to press L and R at the same time, while on the Pro Controller, you just press ZL or ZR. Like I said before, the spin move has a cooldown period, so when I'm in the heat of a race and 98 other people are driving like we're on a Houston, Texas highway, I need to get people off my ass. So sometimes I, I just spam the L and R buttons and it just makes me drift instead. Using the Pro Controller, spamming the ZL or ZR button doesn't do anything to you. But that's just me being bad at the game, alright? Like I said, both controllers are great to use and it comes down to personal preference on which one you rather use. I think it's fair to say that this is a full blown remake of the original f-zero game and this may be a hot take but i think this blows the original game out of the water now the game is still relatively new so it's still fresh on people's minds so you got a good amount of people filling up the lobbies and you have events like the grand prix weekends that will have a grand prix every 30 minutes instead of every two hours and then of course they will eventually be putting in the queen and king cups to get people to stick with the game for months to come however as of now this is still an online heavily based game except for the practice mode so whenever nintendo decides to shut down the servers we won't be able to play f099 anymore nintendo is shutting down pac-man 99 
on October 8th this year. I mean, that game isn't even three years old and it's being shut down this early. Well, I mean, I guess it's not that crazy since the lobbies don't even fill up. So I'm hoping F-Zero does really well so that Nintendo can offer some offline content just like they did with Tetris Nanan -Nan and Pac-Man Nanan. -Nan. So players can still enjoy the game even after Nintendo has moved on from the Switch itself. The last thing I want is for this game to be a reminder that Nintendo killed off a good thing just like Super Mario Bros. 35. But honestly, man, I really think that f 0 9 will continue to have players across the world, and hopefully that tells Nintendo that people like the game so much that it will force them to put a new title in the franchise on the Switch or whatever their next console will be. Like I said before, if you have Switch Online already, take advantage of your membership and try this game out. You really got nothing to lose, all right? Well, you know, except for just about every race, but I promise, it's still fun. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think of F-099 down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. And of course, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Of course, of course, Nintendo takes down Super Mario Bros. 35. That's the one Switch Battle Royale game I actually won at.